is the Bergantino Forte HP, and it's a loud, crisp, powerful, and extremely rugged 6.5 pound, 1200 watt Class D amplifier with so many amazing features and truly powerful tones just waiting to be unleashed. So with the Forte HP, this is an amp that truly has so many different tones inside of it that it's just so much fun to dig in and really see what you can do with it and really what sounds you're really looking for with it. So let's go ahead and get started. So not only does the amp feature 1200 watts in just an insane array of different tones, but it also features an onboard compressor. You'll see the knob at the top labeled VRC, or Variable Ratio Compression. And this is a very smooth compression where more counterclockwise increases both the ratio and the amount. So this is an awesome sounding compression that not only equals out all of your notes altogether, but it adds just a slight bit of great nuance to your overall tone. Then below that, you see that we have our regular gain knob as well as the drive knob diagonal to that. So with the drive, this is what really surprised me about the amp is the amount of versatility within it. So you can get a very just nice, slight, crisp overdrive sound to get a really nice, chunky distortion sound all the way to just the most insane onboard fuzz. And it sounds so meaty and so thick too. Moving down from there, this is where your tone section starts. Starting with the variable high pass filter and the variable low pass filter. With the variable low pass filter, this sets where the low end of your tone is gonna be set in your EQ. And then with the high pass filter, this sets your high end in EQ. Then moving to the right from there, you see your four extra EQ options, where you can have plus or minus 10 decibels at 65 hertz for bass, 250 hertz for low mids, one kilohertz for high mids, and 3.5 kilohertz for treble. So with all these different options at hand, especially with the drive included too, you can really make for such an insane array of different tones that are sound so beautiful and so crisp too. To the right of those, you have three buttons, punch, bright, and mute. And each of these buttons has two different options too. When the punch button is activated, it adds four and a half decibels to your 100 hertz range. And this adds just a nice bump in your low end that gives you a nice, you know, punch to it. Then when you hold the button down and go from green to yellow, this changes the output of your DI from pre to post. Then with the bright button to the right of that, this adds a nice bit of clarity to your high end. You get plus six decibels at two kilohertz in green, then plus six decibels at seven kilohertz when it's orange. On the green side, this adds a nice bit of extra oomph to more rock style playing. And then with the orange setting, this adds a nice bit of oomph to something where you're playing more slap or finger based. Then lastly, we have the mute switch all the way on the right. When it's activated, it mutes your entire signal, but also this changes whether you wanna be in four or eight ohms, or if you switch it over, you can be in two ohms for your output as well. Then below that, you'll notice that there's a USB port. Now this is cool because you can charge your phone or anything awesome like that, but as well, you can attach the wireless Bluetooth foot switch. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, a wireless Bluetooth like foot switch, why do you want that? But it actually makes a lot of sense. You don't have to worry about plugging it in or adding another cable to your pedal board. You can simply have it wireless for up to 30 feet and it works phenomenally. It's incredibly easy to connect and gives you the different options that you need on the fly, including drive, punch, bright, and mute. So while initially I thought it was something that was unnecessary and maybe a little cliche to have something that's wireless, it makes a whole lot of sense to have this in your rig, where you can just go ahead and have it instantly connected to your amp and not have to worry about that extra cable or really fiddling with it and adding it to the back of it or anything like that. Just simply connect USB connector to the front and turn it on. It connects so easily and it gives you all those options on the fly. And this is really a feature that I can see a lot of different companies adapting in the future too. Then moving on to the rear panel, this is where you get even more goodies with the amp, including tuner out, your effects loop, 
headphone output, your DI output, and your speaker outputs too, which are parallel, which gives you the option to add multiple cabinets to it. And then for outputting it to cabs, you have 600 watts at eight ohms, and then the full 1200 watts at four ohms and two ohms. So with this amp alone, it's insane how many options you have on hand, how many tones you can really get with it, and really how beautifully crisp and extremely powerful it is, especially for something that is six and a half pounds. It truly is a fly rig where you can just put it in your backpack and go on to the next gig instantly. And I absolutely love the amount of just different beautiful tones you can get with it, whether it's clean or dirty. And really one of the biggest surprises to me was the dirty sounds that you can get with it. I think it truly makes for such just a super thick and just nasty, just doom metal sound that you can get with the onboard distortion that can really drive up to just a huge sounding fuzz too. And now with the amp alone, you're able to get a lot of beautiful tones with it. But when combined with something like the Bergantino HD 210, it makes for even more of a crisp and powerful sound. So with this cabinet, it is insanely high quality, very rugged, and just sounds so clear and so powerful at the same time. And even better, the cab's only 33 pounds. My dog, this dog right here weighs more than that cabinet does, which is insane, isn't it? Made out of an extremely lightweight poplar, it is truly amazing how really rugged and really well built this feels. And not only that, but just the sounds alone that you can get with it too. And then on the rear panel, you can also control your tweeter where you have minus five decibels or add all the way up to six decibels. And then also your parallel speaker inputs and outputs. But with something as beautifully crafted and truly powerful like both the Forte HP and the HDN210, this proves that you're able to get such incredible tones without any obstacles or any extra hurdles to go through. There's so many options on hand and also they're both so lightweight where it makes it easier for the basis in mind where it's just go ahead, go to the next gig and change the settings as you want and have it ready to go instantly. There's so many tones available and again, the drive section blew me away, which is really surprising too. Again, it pairs so beautifully with a P bass, but with the even more heavy aspects of it, where you can get that insane fuzz tone that I absolutely love. And what's cool is you don't need a pedal for it, it's right there on the amp too. But let me know what you guys thought about it, and really what you think about the future of Class D amps and bass amps in general. Whereas it's as something as intuitive and truly beautiful like this, and it's something that you're really excited about, let me know. But thank y'all so much for watching as always. If you like this video and want to see more of everything bass related, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to be like these beautiful people right over here, head over to my Patreon page for things like early access to videos, giveaways, and more. But thank you all so much for watching as always, and I'll see you all next time.